Hey everyone, my name is Matt Trimpf and I'm the District Forester for the Montcalm, Kent, and Ionia Conservation Districts. Today we're going to be talking about mechanical planting of tree seedlings using a planter such as this that's pulled behind a tractor. This is typically used in a setting where you're planting numbers of more than a thousand tree species in more of a plantation style setting. We'd also like to thank the Nuego Conservation District Nursery as they provided us with 150 white pine seedlings in order to do today's demonstration. So we're just working with some uh, white pine bare root seedlings today. Um, and when they come for you from the nursery, they're probably gonna have a pretty long root system uh, just because I believe these are probably uh, two or three years old when they were grown. Um, and when we're gonna go plant them, we wanna make sure that uh, we don't have too many roots, uh, just because if it's longer than the hole we're putting it in, uh, we can potentially J or L root these, which means that the uh, roots when they're in the hole will actually turn up and will actually cause the tree to die because the roots will start growing up instead of down because they think that they're uh, in the correct position. Um, so the best way to alleviate this uh, before planting is just trim them up to about the, the right length that you think your hole is going to be. Um, and that'll be different from when, when you're uh, mechanically planting with a planter uh, or by hand planting with a planting bar. Um, so a planting bar is typically going to be a little bit shorter than a, a tractor pulled mechanical planter. So today um, we'll probably just trim them probably about there. We're still left with a good root system. Um, and you can tell that the dirt in the nursery bed went up to about here because um, the rest of that root was uh, exposed to a lot of moisture. Trim that up here. Uh, and you don't have to use anything fancy like pruning shears, a knife will do. Um, they're thin, thin, fine roots, easy to cut. Um, you're not gonna harm the plant at all. It'll recover pretty quickly once we get it back in the ground, so. So the important thing with bare root seedlings uh, is because they're bare root, the roots are very susceptible to drying out. Um, and today is a, a great day for planting. It's very cool, it's very humid, um, and there's not a whole lot of wind, but there is a little bit uh, and wind is really going to be your primary factor for uh, your roots drying out. Um, and these are thin roots, so that can easily happen in about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so it's important to keep them protected. Um, if you're not about to plant them, it's good to keep them sort of bundled up um, with any sort of uh, wet packing material, paper. Uh, this is actually hydro seed that these came in. Um, and keep them out of the wind, keep them wrapped, just to keep all that moisture in. Um, when you're getting ready to plant, that's really the best time to kind of take them out, but it's uh, the less time you keep them exposed to the elements, the better off that the trees are going to be. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and start uh, planting with our mechanical planter. As with all things on the farm, safety is definitely something that should be considered. Yeah, it's definitely dangerous um, just because we're working around tractors and, and farm equipment. Um, definitely keep your feet in the footholds and just, you know, don't go swing in, especially with the two wheels kind of compact in the soil. And I guess timing's kind of important. Um, so as you, we see the dirt coming through uh, this kind of funnel here, you're going to kind of want to uh, sort of stage your tree into this blade um, and then you're going to kind of hold it as it gets pulled by the dirt which is being pushed down by these wheels and you're going to want to keep holding on until it's right about here um, otherwise it might not pull the tree all the way down into the soil and um, you're not going to get the the roots deep enough um, so it's definitely kind of a <laughs> definitely kind of an operation to to get down in there um, and then kind of making sure you're spacing things out correctly looking behind you if you've already got a row um, sort of keeping in, in space if you're trying to plant in, in straight lines, try and keep them lined up, or if you're trying to offset, make sure you're kind of splitting the difference between your, your other trees. Um, and then we've got bins here on both sides for trees. Um, you can use both. I'm kind of preferring pulling with my left hand and using that as my feed. Um, so I'm kind of moving trees over here to the right as I, as I get time just because it's easier for me personally to do that. Um, a lot of people will probably have it the opposite way, feeding with their right hand from the, the left bucket. Um, there are four main parts on our mechanical planter. First is the coulter, or that big cutting wheel, that cuts into the soil, cutting any small roots, and opens the soil for the furrow. 
Next is the cultivator shovel or plow head, which actually digs into the soil and creates our furrow for the trees. Behind that is the seedling furrow where we put the trees in, the seedlings, and feed them into the furrow. The last is the packing wheels which pack the dirt back around the tree seedling and that is the end of the operation where the trees are actually planted into the soil. Finally, in order to finish the planting process, we do a thing that's called healing. Now this is actually packing the soil in around the tree seedling, typically with your foot, and this removes any air pockets that might still be in the soil that would dry out the roots. This is going to give the tree seedling the best chance of survival. Mm -hmm.